In this video, I'll show you how to create a WooCommerce product table to display your products in a table format or a list format in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download the WooCommerce product table plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Before we head back to our dashboard, let's have a look at a few different things we can create with this WooCommerce product table plugin. So here we can see that we can use this plugin to create a parts store. So here it's displaying the parts in a user friendly format with a few different filters as well. Here you can see we can create an audio store to display our songs in a user friendly format. And here you can see we, we've got some custom columns for the artists, for the album, for the BPM and so on. In this example as well, we can also add a custom add to cart button. And this makes it super easy for the user to quickly find exactly what they're searching for. So moving on, you can see we can actually use this plugin to create a variation table. So on our product page, this is a variation product. And here we're displaying the variation in a more user friendly format. So the user can quickly select the appropriate color and size. We can also use this plugin to display our products in a list view as well. So here you can see we've got some nested columns here. Okay, so we've got the custom image, we've got the product name, description, some star rating, and then also we've got the price and the add to cart button as well. We can also use this plugin to create a restaurant menu. So here you can see we're displaying multiple um, product tables and displaying the products from a specific category as well. We also use in a list view and also a custom add to cart button and the, the Wii Suite cart short code here as well. So again, just a few different designs. For this example, I'm gonna keep it very simple. I'm just gonna create a standard default product table. So without further ado, let's head back over to our dashboard and let's get started. Okay, assuming you've downloaded the WooCommerce product table plugin by WooSuite, you wanna to navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin in which you just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii Suite menu and then we just navigate to product table here and we can go ahead and create our first product table. So once we've created our product table, we've got the option to display on a shop page, a category page, on the tag page as well. So we can replace the default category, tag and shop pages with our more user-friendly product table. We can also enable a particular product table as a variable table for all our variable products as well. So next we're gonna create our first product table. So we just click add new table here. Now we're gonna name our product table. And this is just for internal purposes only as well. So if you wanted, if there's a particular page that you wanna insert this product table on, you can just go ahead and select the page here or we can manually insert it on a particular page, which is what I recommend. So then you can get to control the position of the product table. So next we'll go down to form information. And here we just simply drag and drop the particular columns in which we want. So for example, we can add the product name, we can add the product image, we can add the stock status, we can also add um, the product category tags and so on. I'm going to X off tags because I don't think we've, we utilize in tags within this store. Okay. We can also add the SKU code. Uh, we'll add ID. I don't think I've added the SKU code within this store. And then we can go ahead and add our add to cart button. Okay. So to rename the columns, we just go ahead and click this pencil icon here and then we can just go ahead and rename it. So we can say products. We can go ahead and customize the width as well. And we can also give this a class name so we can do more advanced styling later on. So just go ahead and click update. Okay, once that's saved, you just click it off. I'm going to rename this to, I'm going to rename this to SKU. Okay, and that's it for now. So whilst we're here as well, if there's any um, custom fields or custom taxonomy that you wanna add to your column, you just go ahead and select custom data here and then click this pencil icon and then you go ahead and select the data source. So if you wanted to add a meta field, a post meta field, you'll just insert it here. Or if you wanted to add a custom taxonomy, you'd go ahead and select it here. It will display all the custom taxonomies on your website. 
So I'm going to X this off and I'm going to remove this for now because again, I don't think we're utilizing any custom data as of yet. Um, inner column as well is great when you want to have um, nested columns, but we'll come back to that shortly. So I'll just quickly add price here. And to change the position, we just simply drag and drop. For the image size, we'll leave that blank. So again, this is just a quick overview of how to create um, a WooCommerce product table. We'll have more in-depth videos looking at a specific function. So if there's anything in particular you wanna know more about, leave it in the comments below. Or go ahead and check out our channel and you most likely find the appropriate video for what it is you're trying to achieve. Okay, so a lot of these I'm gonna leave blank. This is where we'll add our custom add to cart button. And we can go ahead and rename our add to cart button as well. Um, so bulk add to cart, let's go ahead and select this. So we can say button only, or um, we can say checkbox only or button and checkbox. I'm gonna leave it as button only for now. Add to cart behavior, we can enable this. We can enable quantities as well for the variation settings. So we've got a few options here. So whenever it's a variable product, we can link the users over to the product page so they can go ahead and select their variations from there or we can select, we can give the users the option to select the variation options from a drop down list, or we can show the variations separately. And if you use our quick view plugin as well, you'll also have the option. So the user can just click on the quick view button whilst they're on a product table and then go ahead and make the selection from there. So I'm just gonna select um, drop down list for now. Okay, and then form control. So this is this bit's quite important as well. So this is where we go ahead and control what products we want to show on our product table. So by default, it will show all products on your product table. But if you wanted, you can go ahead and customize it here. So you can go ahead and specify a particular product. Um, so we can just add the product name from here or we can specify um, products from a particular category. So we can go ahead and choose the category from here. Um, we can create more advanced rules as well. So we can say we want to display products from um, X category and maybe we want to say with um, a particular tag. Again, I don't think I've got any tags on the system, so it won't show here. So we, all, we can even um, narrow it down by um, attributes, custom taxonomies. We can also display um, the user's recently purchased product as well. We can also display the products based on the st status and we'll be adding more um, options as time go on as well. So I'm just gonna delete this option and I'm gonna leave this one filter in place for now. Okay, so for the product filters, so by default it's set to disable, but we can go ahead and enable it based on the columns that we're using in our product table, or we can go ahead and enter in a custom um, filter here. So I can go ahead and select categories. So again, if you click on this link as well, it will show you all the available options that you've got. So I'm gonna select categories and I'm gonna select sales. So I'm gonna give users the option to filter their product table um, based on items which are on sale as well. And here we've got an option to hide any product without a featured image. So we just toggle this on going to leave it as, as it is for now. And then for the rest of the options, I'm going to leave it as default. And then we go down to form design. Okay, so here we can disable the product table heading. We can also enable a custom design. And if we want to do more, more styling as well to our product table, we can just go ahead and enable this custom CSS option here. And we'll just add our CSS here as well. Okay, and then if, you, if you've got a large store, so you've got, let's say, over um, a thousand products within your store, then I would probably utilize our performance setting as well. So you could in enable lazy load, um, you can enable cache as well. That will help with your page loading speed. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save changes now. Okay, and if we remember this particular product table which I created, it's called default table. So I'm just gonna head back to our general settings area here. And then here we can see the table in which I just created called default um, table. I'm gonna copy this short code and then I'm gonna create a new page to list our product table. Okay, so we can go ahead and name our page. So I can say, um, I'm gonna name mine order form. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste my short code here and hit publish and view page. And here you can see our product table. So here's the filter which I created, filtering by a category. And you can see it's showing all the products within our clothing category and the subcategories as well. We've also got the option to filter um, our products by items which are on sale. So as you can see, these two products are on sale. We can go ahead and disable this option as well. We can go ahead and further filter our table. 
So as you can see, it's using Ajax filtering. So the user gets to see the result instantly. Okay, so I can go ahead and search. And you can see everything's working in real time, right? So it's a much more user-friendly way to go ahead and find a product and check out as well. If you wanted, we can go ahead and add a cart widget as well. So if you're not using the default, um, so if your theme doesn't have a cart widget, you can use the built-in um, WooSuite cart widget as well. And to do that, we'll head back to our page here and I'm gonna create a new column. So I'm gonna select this column here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a short code and we can just use the short code, brackets, um, WooSuite underscore cart, close bracket. And this will display our cart widget as well. By the time you're watching this, we'll most likely have um, a Gutenberg block. So you can go ahead and select the WooSuite cart block to get this option as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this product table short code here and I'm gonna customize the width for this column as well. So let's change this column to um, 28% and we'll go ahead and change this one as well. Since that's 28, this can be 72. If my maths is correct, it should equal 100. And we can go ahead and update this page. Okay, now let's go ahead and refresh this page. So we've got an effective order form here. You can see our product tables displaying as it should. And you can also see the WooSuite cart widget as well. It would probably make sense if we actually gave this a um, title. So for example, we could say um, cart, and then I'm just gonna move it under our cart widget as well. Okay, so now when we refresh this page, there you go, you can see it's showing the heading cart. You can call it shopping basket or whatever you choose. Okay, so this is how you create a WooCommerce product table in just a few simple steps. So again, we can do more advanced styling and more um, advanced filtering as well. We can add um, different columns, as I said. Okay, so one last thing I'd like to show before I finish this video. If we go back and edit our product table. So before we do that as well, if you wanna create multiple um, product table and you wanna keep a similar setting and similar design. So instead of going and adding a new table, you just go ahead and duplicate this one. So you can speed up the process, the editing process. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do a nested column now. So I'm gonna remove some of these. I'm gonna remove most of these. Gonna remove, yeah. Okay, so all we're keeping is the product name. And then I'm gonna select this option here where it says inner column. Okay, so I'm gonna select this inner column option here and then here where it says inner columns so below um currently my computer's playing up so it's cutting off it's cutting off the box slightly but in your case you should be able to see these options fine so here we're showing the available options in which we can use to create our inner columns for example we can add um it's saying we can add a id so we'll just type id and then use the comma to separate our inner columns. And then we can say image for the product image. And we can say um, add to cart as well. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at, as that for now. So I wanna quickly change um, where it says ID. I'm gonna show the image first and then the ID and then the add to cart button. So let's just select update. Okay, that's saved fine. So now let's go ahead and save changes and then we can view our order form again. Okay, so now when we refresh this page, so here you can see our nested columns, but it's not styled the best. Um, ideally we'd create um, something much nicer than this. But just to show you what we can do, let's go ahead and navigate to pages and I'll show you a few different designs which I created earlier. Okay, so let's go ahead and view this, this and this one. Okay, so these are just a few designs I was just messing around with earlier. So we've got this one, we've got this more compact view. So again, this is using the inner columns. So we've got the image as one column and then we've got this inner column here where we're showing the product name, um, SKU code, short description, and then the price as well. And we've got this one here. So it's similar to the other one. And we're just showing more information on this one. And then here, We've actually customized the image styling and centered 
our product table. And that's how you use the WooCommerce product table by WooSuite. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.